Welcome back to Sun Journal Sports Talk here at Sun Media Group. I'm Justin Pelletier, joined by Cal Oaks and Kevin Mills. And we are here to break down the Western Class D basketball tournament on the girls' side of things. And most conversations the last couple of years in the Western D have started and ended with Buckfield. Let's start there. Well, that's a good place to start, but I think the difference this year is it's not just Buckfield. There are several teams that can win it, and I know Kevin can go into greater depth than that, but this isn't isn't quite the, the same Buckfield team as last year in, in a lot of ways, and uh, it's going to be a tougher uh, tougher road to hoe to get to the, to the state final. Yeah, the blonde squad is no more <laughs> for Buckfield. Um, they're, still, they're still favorites, and they're still uh, the better team, but... Uh, you know, they lost some key players to graduation. They lost last year's Tony MVP to an ACL injury. I, so uh, they're not, they're not going to be as dominant as they were last year where they, they pretty much cruised to the tournament. I still think they're the favorites to win, uh, but I think the gap has been closed between them and the rest of the uh, Western uh, teams. Traditionally here at the Sun Journal, we talk about uh, in that conference because it, it's really very widespread, that conference is. Uh, one of the teams that we talk about them playing quite a bit is, is Rangeley because A, we cover Rangeley a little bit, and, and B, because they usually give them some fairly stiff competition. It's kind of a, almost a natural rival in a sense, even though they're kind of far apart geographically. And this year, Rangeley finally has that team that might challenge them. Yeah, they're kind of like the Class D version of Dirigo. They took a step back last year, now they're making a step up, and maybe in some people's mind a year away this year, but certainly they're capable of, uh, of winning a quarterfinal game and maybe getting... Uh, getting a run going and, and getting some confidence on, under their belt and, and seeing where it takes them. Yeah, they were a real young team last year, and uh, but this year they've got a couple of girls who didn't play last year came back this year, uh, so they benefit, benefited from that. So I think uh, you know, getting that group back together again you know, has kind of taken uh, much of the year. They lost to Buckfield twice, but Rays has been one of the hotter teams uh, in, in Western D. They beat Valley and they beat Hyde, a Class C team, late in the year. Um, so they're, they've, they've been on a hot streak. They play Vinyl Haven in their quarterfinal, which will probably the, be the toughest quarterfinal. Uh, but they've, uh, they've had very good luck against Vinyl Haven uh, in the tournament the last few years. So I think that's going to be a great matchup and a good, good chance for the Lakers. And certainly a couple of other uh, teams to, to look out for. Forest Hills, I know you mentioned uh, in, in your preview, uh, was a team that uh, could possibly make some noise depending on, on the draw that they've, they've received. And, yeah, and they, they, they beat Valley, they beat Buckfield. I think the only, two, only team to do that, to beat both of them. Um, they have three girls that, that are, are very good scorers, and, uh, uh, but they lost early in the, the tournament last year. Uh, they're uh, a small team. Depth-wise, so if they get into foul trouble, which was a problem last year, that's going to hurt them. Uh, so, but they're they're a talented team that you know could make some noise. One school that we always mention on the boys' side of things is Valley, but the girls this year, the Valley girls actually have a actually, legitimate the show. Girls is where their strength is this year, and uh, yeah, they they they've been a team a, a constant threat over the last ten years, and certainly they're right in that mix with Forest Hills and Buckfield and Vinyl Haven Ranger. Yeah, Valley's been a staple in this tournament as well on the girls' side, and. Uh, uh, it's no surprise that they're number two. They also beat beat uh, uh, Buckfield. Uh, they're they've got a pretty good balanced team, and again, they were a young team last year, and they're a little bit more experienced. And you know, they're like as I said before, they're they're closing the gap on Buckfield, getting a little bit closer. And it wouldn't surprise me if it's if it's the uh, if it's Buckfield and Valley in the final, and and Valley will get a chance to see how close they can they can get to Buckfield. So I'm going to go with that saying that you're probably picking Buckfield out of this group. I think so. Uh, like I said, I think uh, you know, Buckfield is not the dominant team they were, but I still think overall they're still the best team with the most experience, and I think that wins out in the end. Yeah. Oh, I'll give the local team some motivation and pick Valley. <laughs> that sound, that's as, as good a guess as anybody, because yeah, at this what, point it's, it's, all, guesswork. Point, it's right? all guesswork. It's all guesswork. We thank you all very much for joining us here at Sun Media Group. This has been Sports Talk uh, with Cal Oaks and Kevin Mills. I'm Justin Pelletier. Thank you very much for watching.